Welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Friday, June 16th, 2023. Swimming, walking, and family fun. This weekend is packed with activities for the entire family to enjoy. We'll have some details. We'll also tell you what the weather is forecast to be this weekend. But we begin with some happenings in the Parks and Recreation Department. Joining me now is Jamie Lee with the Parks and Recreation Department. Thanks for joining us today. Welcome, glad to be here. Yeah, so we got a lot going on this weekend in the Parks and Recreation Department. We have a big swim meet at the Bluxy Natatorium. Start off by telling us about that. We do. It's, um, it's our annual Splash in the Coast swim meet. Um, Fitting. <laughs> yeah, it, and um, it, it, it's turned out to be one of the biggest ones, if not the biggest one, biggest one in the summer in the state of Mississippi. Oh, wow. So we're really glad on hosting it. Um, It'll start on Thursday afternoon, but really runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the natatorium. Um, we are expecting 16 teams with about 515 swimmers. Oh, wow. In. So it's, it's going to be a full three days. And where are they from? Um, anywhere. we got a team coming in from Texas, a bunch of teams from Louisiana, and then teams from Mississippi as well. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's good. So, And it's open to the public at the natatorium if they want to come and watch this, the it swimmers? Is, it is. It um, is. The kids, they'll come in and swim in the morning, do their prelim session, and qualify to come back in the final session in the evening. And that's when it gets really exciting when they come in. The top 16 will come back in at night to compete for the awards and the points. So that's when it gets really riled up. And true, exciting. true. And what are the age groups of the swimmers? Uh, we have anywhere from six years old up to, we actually have some college swimmers coming to compete. So oh, cool. they're, they're trying to stay in shape while they're home. Um, we have one on our team that goes to Delta State, so it'll be exciting to watch them and see how they're doing. And when you say our team, you mean best? I mean best. Black Sea League swim yes. team? Yeah, yeah well, well, now that we talked to help anybody, I mean, that is a, a all-year-round swim team that anybody can join, correct? It is, it is. Um, you know, you just need to contact us at the natatorium, and we can schedule a tryout for anyone who's interested in being part of the team. And what does the tryouts consist of? Um, they just need to be able to swim, you know, one <laughs> side to the other. Um, Do they need to know all the strokes? No, they... Basically, we just, you know, want you to be somewhat efficient, and then, and then that's, you know, we'll get into that, teaching you the different strokes, freestyle, butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, all that. Awesome. And then competitions, is all year round, too, do they have competitions? We or do. Just... We, we try to compete in one meet a month. Okay. And our, our big meets that we host, of course, we have this one in June, and we host another big invitational in December. Okay, and I know like the Bloxy Red Town Swim Team that's going on right now, the summer, summer swim team, um, they have competitions, but they don't have to compete. What about for best? Do they have to compete if they join the team? They don't, but we highly encourage it. It is, it is you know, at the end of the day, it is a competitive swim team that, you know, we are um, competing, trying to get better, possibly even get scholarships. You know, like I said, with the college right. swimmer that came back, you know, she's... A, she was a past swimmer, grew up through the program, and now she's uh, swimming for, at the collegiate level with Delta State. Awesome. Well, that's cool. Yeah, and, I mean, come on, competition is fun, you know. <laughs> it is. It is. It gives them a chance to shine at their sport, you know, at their pool. So it, it, it is. It's, it, it's a fun, exciting environment when they go for it. Yeah, and the Biloxi Natatorium, that's open um, to the public, too, during the week. Give us a little information about the it hours is. and the fees, and if anybody wants to just go swim in the Olympic size swimming pool with a retractable roof. We're the only one in the area with that? It, we are. And, you know, one of, the, one of the unique things that we are doing during the summer is the long course setup. You know, so from 5 a.m. in the morning until about 9, you can come in and swim in an Olympic size, true an Olympic size pool. You know, the 50 meters is what the Olympic stage is set in. Um, the natatorium, though, is open from 5 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. All right. And then, I mean, there are hours for um, children and adults? Children. Children can come in after 1 o'clock and then okay. stay open for the rest of the day. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And the natatorium, where is it located? 1384 Father Ryan Avenue. Awesome. Definitely. Well, that's a lot of fun things of summertime. Of course, go to a public pool, and it's a great pool. Um, it's maintained very well, you know, and it's, and it's open all year round. In the summertime, of course, like we said, we have the retractable roof, you know, so it's kind of like you're out, you know, out on the beach in a way, you know, <laughs> swimming with the sun coming in, you know, enjoying um, a nice setting. And then, of course, in the wintertime, it's heated. A lot of people may not know that with deck heaters and in the pool. So, right. yeah. Absolutely. So that's great. Yeah, definitely. So we got a lot of other things going on, though, in the Parks and Recreation Department. We got a big event coming up this weekend, Juneteenth Celebration. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Um, so Friday, we've got the three-on-three -three basketball tournament, which we held at uh, Beck Park. And then Saturday morning, we have the Unity Walk, which will start at Beck Park. 
and then that afternoon will be the uh, festival with the vendors and everything on Town Green. Okay, awesome. And then they'll be back there on Sunday again for the community picnic at Beck Park. So it's, it's, so it's a weekend time. of events. Yeah, right. a lot yes. going on, yes. a lot to participate in. Right. And um, one more thing before we go to we'll talk about, we have um, the Pops Ferry um, lights out at the... Is right. it the recreational complex? The, the field, the fields out there, we, we just had to close them. They were unsafe due to the structural integrity of the poles and everything. I mean, they're old wooden poles, so we needed to take action. And, you know, the, the guys finally got out there and they've started removing them. But um, it's going to be a little bit longer because we seem to have some ospreys living in a couple of poles. Uh -huh. And, of course, you can't do anything until they're gone. But as soon as they, as soon as they you know, get their young out of their nest and vacate the nest, then we can go ahead and get those other ones out. And then hopefully, you know, at least open it up from daylight to dark right now. Yeah. Um, we're still looking at options on, you know, replacing the lights or, you know, another alternative, but that's going to come down the road a little bit. But right now, though, there is daytime play at one of the fields, right, that's open? There is. At the, um, at the field across the street by the pickleballs. It's still kind of part of the Potts Ferry Complex but it is actually across across the street right there. Um, I'm not sure, I think it may be Cherry Lane or something right there that runs along in between. But it, but if you know where the pickleball courts are mm -hmm. on, on the eastern side over there, so it, it's right to the north side of those. Okay, wow. Uh, well, see, there's still play, you know, it's the summertime, there's a lot going on at the pool, a lot going out on the fields. Anything else um, that you want to talk about? I it mean, is. there's um, a lot going no, on, all just, the parks are open, yeah. It is. <laughs> You're busy all the time, open. I'm Splash sure. Pads, you know swimming pools, um, yeah. trying to get the Pops Ferry back open, but there's a lot going on there. Yeah. Is. Well, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, how can they reach you if they have any questions or sure. concerns? Sure. You know, the best way is to call the uh, Parks and Rec main number, 228-388-7170. And, you know, if, if they can't help you there, they'll forward you to the right person. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jamie, and thank you for coming on. And get out to all the events going on this weekend and enjoy the festivities, all the festivities that the Parks and Recreation Department has to offer. The Biloxi City Council had a regular scheduled meeting on Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. at Biloxi City Hall. To see the recording, visit online at biloxi.ms.us. Click here, then click here. To see the meeting schedule, click here, then click here. The forecast for this Father's Day weekend calls for a typical summertime mix of warm sunny days with a chance of afternoon showers. The daytime highs are expected to hover around 90 degrees with the evening lows in the mid to upper 70s. The Movers and Shakers Social Club presents the Juneteenth weekend celebration with events all weekend. It kicks off Friday evening at 5.30 with three-on-three -three basketball tournament at the Henry Beck Park, located at 671 Division Street. Saturday morning, there's a unity walk beginning at 7.30 at Henry Beck Park, followed by the Juneteenth celebration at the Biloxi Town Green from 3 to 9. Then Sunday afternoon, there will be a family day picnic back over at Henry Beck Park from 1 to 5. Free admission to all of the events mentioned. The Biloxi Bombers All-Star Invitational begins Saturday at 9 a.m. at the Todd Miguez Back Bay Ballpark, located at 425 Parker Street. It should be a pleasant day, so get out and show support for these young athletes. And if you're interested in working for the City of Biloxi, then mark your calendar for the upcoming job fair taking place from 9 to 2 at the Woolmarket City Center. If you aren't able to make it out to the job fair and want to see jobs currently available, just visit the City of Biloxi website and click the Human Resources link here and then click here. And remember, the South Mississippi Summer Fair is a family-friendly event with unlimited ride wristbands available to purchase. This is the final weekend for the fair currently underway on the grounds of the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. Information about the events mentioned is available by visiting the various venues' websites. And to see a list of what's happening throughout the month, check out the Biloxi Community Calendar in the June issue of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking here. We leave you today from the waterfront. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again 